Hi there and welcome back. It's Tanya from Tatty Treasures. Hello there. I hope everybody's doing okay. Um, everybody's fine here. Um, I've got Alna here, not in here, <laughs> but in her room with her two friends. So we might hear some uh, giggling and run running about and <clears throat> closing of doors and, you know, and occasional Colin barking and it's just it's just another normal day um so we're going to spend the next three days <clears throat> doing some uh projects with paper bags now this is the second video that I'm filming but this is the first video that you're going to uh see so I did show you that I'd got three different types of all the same, you know, these uh, bottomed bags, but I'd got them in three different heights and I was doing three different um, projects with them. May turn into four and I'll show you why in a minute. So these are going to be bag pockets. I first made these on um, a challenge that I did with uh, DD Farrago. Um, I think I've made them once since then, uh, but I love them, and this is all they are. I absolutely love them. Um, let me just get get rid of this though. So they're so simple, but I just think that they're, they're so fun. Um, so you would stick that bit down, and you would open it like so. So you can only fit something uh, thin in there, but um, yeah, I really like them. And I thought these bags would be uh, ideal for for this. So I'm just going to use the tear ruler. It doesn't seem to want to rip that last bit, does it? I think it's because it's, it's quite thick because it's obviously got the um, folds there. So obviously now we're going to be left with, with these, aren't we? So yeah, I may these are either go in my trash it box or um I might do something with them um on Sunday. We'll we'll see. I can't remember <coughs> what I did with them. Um oh I can. Oh I can. <laughs> so yeah, I might come back on Sunday and do something something else. Um the project that I did at earlier today which you'll see on Saturday I did say you could use any bag for that you didn't need to have uh, this bottom but on this one you obviously do need uh, these ones so that's that I'm going to ink all around them I'm using the walnut stain because you seem to be able to see it better on the craft um, coloured paper So you could use any uh, size of these bags. I think the ones I used um, in the DD Farrago one was a little bit uh, bigger than these. I think I'll just ink that because you will you will see that uh, side. I might actually put a strip of washi up there just to. Give it a little bit of decoration. I don't know if the table's shaking as I'm um, inking. I was just aware that everything was bouncing about. It's a little bit hard because you do tend to craft. Uh, I don't. I don't. I'm not aware of doing it off camera, but on camera, I do seem to always have my forearms on the on the desk, um, and then obviously. You're shaking. I'm saying my table's sturdy enough. It's it's not that. It's the um, you know what the the phone's on again, which is sturdy, but it isn't when I'm shaking. Oh, girl! <laughs> it's either shaking or it's not shaking, and I'm sorry if it is. Right, let's um, carry on inking these. So what have I got to tell you? Not a lot, um, because it's the same day as I've just uh, filmed filmed the other one. So it's Friday, it's a week before uh, Good Friday. Um, I'm back at work on Monday. We've spoke all, all about that and a bit of a change of routine and stuff. Um, I have 
<clears throat> I am about a week in, <clears throat> in front with filming and I am going to spend uh, definitely today and tomorrow filming as much as I can um, to get a bit in front because, you know, I don't know how, I'm, how my body's going to react to to being back at, at work even though you know i'm only going back for one day but um it's it's been a long time since i've been back at work and obviously um you know before that i was kind of on and off work with lockdowns and alna being off school because you know school was out for such a long time so I don't feel like I've been properly to work for over two years. So, yeah, I mean, for anybody, I think that's that's a lot to get used of. But any of you who's, you know, got, got an illness or what have you, um, you know, I, I think any kind of <coughs> change, I mean, a change in the weather, um, you know, if it's raining, if it's sunny, if it's cold, if it's hot, any kind of change or environment, um, it can set, you know, whatever illness you've got off. So sometimes we deal with it fine, sometimes we don't. Um, but I'm looking forward to going back. I want to go back. I don't have to go back. Um, obviously, <coughs> financially, it's better that I do go back, but um, I don't. You know, I'm not being forced to go back. So that's, um, you know, I don't feel pressured uh, because of that. So I'm doing two going that side, two going that side. I think I am going to put some uh, washi tape down here. Um, I'm going to use this one. I think this is so pretty. Um, it's like a green uh, paisley. So I think I'll... Oh, a strip there. I should have done it to the side more because <coughs> I could have. Um, I could have done a lot of things. I'm doing a lot of. I could have. <laughs> just, just do it. <laughs> if you could have done it, just do it. Um, yeah. I think I'll just put two on as if it's a bit of a, a bit of a, you know, collage type thing. Let me just nip, nip that off. Okay. So that's a bit of something just to to look at. I don't feel like I need to do do that on there as well. Um, shall we do one in the brown? Why not? So I'll do that a bit more to the to the side. And I'm sure you know by now uh, the tapes and the dispenser are from Stationery Pal. I do have an affiliate link with them. Um, and that is in my description if you go in on that i will earn uh, a small commission and um there's also a code for 12 percent off so um, go and check them out and thank you to those of you who have already made made purchase thank you very much so that's that and this last one, oh, I've lost, lost me end. Let's keep it. I, think, I don't think I'll be long before I'm running out of that one. I'll have to see what, what other green ones I've got and put, put another one on. But yeah, it's definitely my me, me favourite. Okay. So that's that's that bit done. Um, next, I'm going to. I don't know if to put these last or. I'll put them on last so we can see them. So I'm going to put a little bit of collage um, on them. I've got some papers left from the project that you'll see on Saturday. So let's kind of find the the height. So it's about there. So if I do it. About there. So we'll just get some <coughs> ripped down. So I think. Oh, let me just rip this side. Can't have a, a non ripped um, side. Goodness gracious. 
So I'm going to do some bases. Like so. Put that little bit in the collage. Because it might come in handy. Right. So one. So if I go across there. Like so. Just take that bit off. And go down here. Um, I'm going to use some stickers that I got from uh, your creative studio to decorate them. Again, I've used several of their pieces in, in Saturday's project. Right, let's just take that off. A little bit off and I'll put that in my scraps. So I shall ink these up. Let me stack, stack that back up. Okay, ink around these. This is the paper from um, one of the William Morris kits that Nanine has um, in her shop, collage type on Etsy. Um, Nanine's link will be also in my description. For this project, I have been using um, her daisy kit, but um, yeah, I've also been using some of her William Morris papers because they seem to go with everything. So that's that. Shall get those stuck down. I'll use. Oh, gosh, let's see if this will come out or not. Sometimes it plays and sometimes it doesn't. Today. It's going to be a day that it doesn't play, but I think it's just all gunked up. Let's see? No. Okay, I've done it. So this is Anita's Tacky Glow. I have put a little bit of water in it because I was finding it um, a bit too thick <coughs> to come out of uh, that nozzle. But I think I just put a little bit too much water in. But it sticks fine. It's, I've just made it uh, a little bit too wet. So I have to be careful that I don't over overdo it. So it doesn't matter, you know, which way I put these on because they're pretty non-dimensional. Non-dimensional? Non-directional. Non-dimensional. Okay, okay. Right. So that's that. And then we'll get, get a bit of green on them. The daisy kit, I've been sticking to... You know, like brown sepias and uh, green. Okay, so that is that. Um, I've got this. Let's put that back. So I'm not use that. Can use that for something else. I've got this uh, lovely William Morris um, again from Nanin collage type. So I'm going to take this off and I'll save um, this for something. In fact, I'm going to keep that in this scrap box because I'll probably put it in um, collage. So I'm just going to rip the cream, cream down. Okay. It reminds me very much of that um that washi tape. Right. So I think I'm gonna do it about there. So let's just rip down that. Then if I go Okay, can I 
go in the collage box. I can always pull it back out if, if I need it, but I like to pop it straight, straight in there and then it doesn't accidentally go in the bin. Because, um, you know, sometimes at the end of the day, I'm just like, oh, let's get tidied, tidied up. Um, I don't think I'm going to use that um, tacky glue. I'm just thinking if I put that on top of that, it's going to be far too wet. So that's, um, I'm just going to go around it with the art glitter. I'll just get, go around the sides. I think that'll be, that'll be enough. So I'm going to put that one down there. <coughs> That one can be up there. Not inked it. Did I ink them all or didn't I? I think I just inked, inked one of them. Sun is shining today. Let's say we had a good week or so of sun and then we had a, a week of, oh, really quite, you know, one minute it was snowing, then it was hailing, then we've had some really grey, drab days, been really cold. Um, and then the last few days the the sun has you know kept kept popping up but um yeah it looks a nice nice day i've not uh, been anywhere near outside <laughs> can say i'm just on um let's let's get some things filmed um and like i say eleanor was here with her friends last night i mean they, they're good but you know they're obviously three teenage girls um and you know they do a lot of banging and laughing and and stuff, so I can't completely um, rest when when they're here. I'm a bit on um, tender ups. I don't know why. Um, I suppose it's. I think I, I've always been the same. I think when you've got other people's um, children um, here at your house, I don't know. You you just. Um, well, you know, you don't want anything to happen to them, do you, when, when they're at your house? So, yeah, I'm always a little bit um, on tender rocks. So, I'm going to put these um, tabs on. Um, these are from the lovely Deb, and she cut them out of Tim Holtz paper for me. And they like the whale tail. Um tab so just pop that on there lovely oh my fingers are a sticky mess I, I went and washed them um after the last video that i've just filmed but already they stuck up again yep I don't think that's it. Wasn't quite quite on. That's better. Right, so that's two that side and then two this side. Let's make sure that opens. Yep. Let's fold it first. I have inked around these already. But I'll do that to prepare. That in. Yep. And the last one. So I'm going to the hairdressers on Thursday. Um, a couple of months ago, I had some foils. I had some chocolatey browns uh, put in. My natural hair colour is um, <coughs> chocolatey browns with with a little bit of red shining uh, through. Um, but during lockdown and, you know, not being at work and things, I've just been throwing a black hair dye uh, on my head just to cover the grey up. Um, so I had some foils last time. I had it quite a lot cut off. Um, and I'm going, I just had a half a head of foils last time. So I'm going for a full head of foils. So that's that. Okay. And we're going to put some stickers on. I don't know where I've put them. Oh, I can see them. So these are the stickers from Your Creative Studio. 
so any one it doesn't doesn't matter they're all lovely so pop that on you can't really see it can you i'm fine with that though subtle <laughs> very I can see that one. I think it's because that bit's um, like a, a white. Let's um, see what this one looks like. I'll do it on the. That's that. And this one. These are actually designed by your creative studio as well. Um, the boxes now are a mixture of um, different products plus um, half the box seems to be things that they've created, which is lovely. Right. I don't know if to put any more on or not. No, I won't. Right, I'm going to put some uh, butterflies on. So that would be nice. Let's just pick pick some out. I might want two on some of them. I think I want brownie ones. Keep it. Oh, I quite like that, even though it's it's big. <laughs> oh, that's a nice colour. I think um, I cut that out the other day. It's out of one of Nene's newer kits. I, I can't quite remember um, which one. Oh, I think it's off a new woodland um, cat. That's a bit dark. Aha. Uh -huh. So that, let's find another. So one, two, three. Four. Okay, okay. Right, let's ink, ink these up. Over the antennae bits. Yeah, lovely colour this one is. And then I think the other ones are, these are definitely Artie Mays ones. I think the others two are Nene's um, as well. But <coughs> I don't know what kit they're, they're from. Well, they might be Tina's from Shabby Dabby Doo -Dah. I don't know. I think everybody has butterfly um, little kits and that, don't they now? Right, that's those inked up. So we'll pop those down. And then I do want to make some little cards for, for the insides. Um, because if you've been watching, you'll know that um, I've already... You know sorted through the ephemera that i've already made and um anything that hadn't got a pocket or a tag i've paired them up and made you know whatever they was missing so anything i i make now i think i'll put these two on the faded one um i need to make sure that they've you know they're complete because once I get on to, you know, making uh, some file folders and things with all the daisy things, I won't, should, well, hopefully I have everything that, that I need. But I won't have any more digitals or any, you know, bits of ephemera what will go with it. Because I've, I've used um, everything. Right, so that's those. Where's my pin? Oh, come on, let's not have a pin saga. Okay. So we need to find out how big those pockets are. So that's not going to be very good. To, that's, um, so if we say they're four and a half by two. So I think, I think these would be nice in there. So this is some paper by... Um, So I'm just going to get my trimmer. <clears throat> 
and oh I forgot bow bow bunny um it was her botanical journal um which I tell you all this in, in Saturday's video. I'm a bit like, oh, I don't want to tell you. I've already told you. <laughs> um, so I had a couple, I searched through, you know, my paper pads and that to see if there was anything that would go with, with the daisy. And there was a couple of sheets that I had. Um, these ones are only one-sided, so I've tea stained uh, them. Plus this, was quite white um and it it didn't really um appeal to me so i'd have tea dyed them anyway so that's four and a half i think that's sad so let's do that Did that? At, oh no, I didn't. I thought I did it at four instead of four and a half. Four and a half. And I'm going to round the corners. I think. ink round them didn't take long at all did it four pockets and four journal cards I think to use those stickers up I think I'll, because they're only small, I'm going to put them on the right inside just for um, a little bit of something and, and like I say, it'll, well I don't think it'll quite use them up but I'll be well on the way to, to being used. So, right, let's ink around here. Yeah, nice to get some paper bags uh, used. Like I say, I've not got a million but um, yeah, I've got, you know, more than... Um, I should have just sitting about so I thought we used lots of envelopes didn't we and, and bags to make notepads and then I thought oh I've got these lunch bags as, as well so let's do a few projects with, with them so that's them inked around right get these stickers and pop that there. Oh, they're so pretty. So I think that's a little bit wide. Let's do that tall one. Got a nice stick on them too. And I like it that um can't really see that the, the stickers they're um oh, they're a matte so you've got no no shine so that's that one can't do. one again I can say I don't want to take take up all the bottom that you can't write on it so that's that and well hopefully they'll fit <laughs> hopefully do this measurement right oh oh <laughs> just so that's that obviously you can put uh, more than uh, this in 
I think um, when I made them last time, I put a couple of cards in and, and bits of tickets in. They have got some uh, give, give, bag. <laughs> They've definitely got some bag. So that's that. And this one. So thank you very much for, for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that. If you uh, make some, then... Um, can come over to the Facebook group and share them or you're free to email me um, any photos and um, that's it from me for today so I'll see you tomorrow bye